And it's this lack of conceptual encoding that makes some of these savants adhere slavishly to every little detail and actually improves their memory in, res in some respects. But of course, they're pay paying a price for it. Can I ask you a question? Just Kim can't seem to get his head around a concept as non-literal as a metaphor. All that glitters is not gold. Uh, uh, what does that mean? All that I'll, I'll give you a pound of my flesh if you don't watch out. <laughs> you know it. Okay, what if I said George Bush is not exactly a rocket scientist, is he? He's the President of the United States. Okay. <laughs> But, but when I say he's not exactly a rocket scientist, what does that mean? He doesn't know about how to look his message in the stars. Ah, okay. Well. You know, <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean, yes. <laughs> Kim, it turns out, is very bad at metaphor. And we said, get a grip on yourself. What does that mean? And he starts doing this, literally grabbing himself. And this is extraordinary if you think about it. Here's a person who's otherwise quite intelligent and, you know, charismatic and carries on a conversation, but you ask him to get a grip on himself, he starts doing that. And this, is a, this tendency to take metaphors literally is another example of a failure of conceptual encoding. Lawyer. Lawyer. Medicine. Medicine. With their two Help. simple tests, Rama and his students have shown that Kim's great memory skills would not be possible if he could think more like the rest of us.